Number 12. Startup reinvents the wheel for hauling gear and drinks over any terrain. Who wants to carry a fully loaded modern cooler, often a war zone ready hunk of roto molded plastic, plus chairs, tents, and other accompanying gear, meters or miles to the campsite? The Real Wheel presents a better way to go about it. Its mono wheel cart features an integrated cooler bag and table, rolling over pavement, dirt, rock, sand, and whatever else is in the way. It carries up to 200 pounds, 91 kilograms, meaning you can load it up and make just one trip to camp, the beach, etc. It's essentially a tailgate on wheels, air, wheel. We've seen a few all-terrain gear carts in recent years, including the Zooka All-Terrain and Armadillo Trailer. But the wheel is a different breed, replacing the typical two- or four-wheel setup with one wheel with 19.5 enclosed cell phone tire in the middle. The tire is covered by a water-resistant rubberized PVC skin, adding extra durability and water resistance. Number 11. Undersea Beds, Nemo's Garden takes terrestrial farming to new depths. It may look like the setting for a science fiction thriller in these photos, but this underwater research farm for terrestrial plants is exploring novel agriculture. Agency Nemo's Garden by Ocean Reef Group This otherworldly, underwater environment is more than just a cool diving spot. It is a sunken farm for terrestrial plants. Called Nemo's Garden, it is located in the sea off Nali on the Italian Riviera and was created to explore the possibilities of novel agriculture. The garden is a research project run by diving equipment company Ocean Reef Group. It is developing mostly hydroponic techniques, which don't require soil, for growing plants in six large underwater domes. These floating biospheres are largely self-sustaining systems that each hold about 2,000 liters of air. They are secured at between 5 and 10 meters below the surface. Number 10. Velo 3 in one expandable hard side luggage switches between three different suitcase sizes. Use one bag that does it all when you have the Velo 3 in one expandable hard side luggage. This suitcase can actually switch between three sizes, one six small carry-on, two two medium check-in, and two six large check-in. With a water-resistant PU exterior, it can withstand light rain even after expanding. Its durable and sleek design expands due to its extra-wide pop-up handle and the buttons on the top. Simply press the button and then either pull to expand or compress to reduce the size of Velo in seconds. Furthermore, its aerospace-grade aluminum frame, customized adjustable dividers, laptop bag, and packing cubes all come together to make this the luggage you can own for life. Use Velo on any trip regardless of duration and distance, and say goodbye to switching between and storing multiple suitcase sizes at home. Number 9. Autobot Paxo Neck Exoskeleton Work Gear People who perform manual work above the shoulder often experience a great deal of strain in the neck region or even suffer from various work-related disorders. The Exoskeleton Paxo Neck provides relief and support during all kinds of overhead work, such as installing ceilings and automotive assembly. This innovative exoskeleton is the first neck support that can be individually adapted to every user through various adjustment options and takes just seconds to put on or take off. The featherweight design makes the Paxo neck extremely comfortable and provides a very high degree of freedom of movement for the user. Number 8 Moonwalkers give users a powered boost as they walk. Although they may look like just another set of strap-on electric roller skates, the moonwalkers are actually a bit different. You walk as you're wearing them, 
with their motorized wheels increasing your walking speed by a claimed 250 percent designed by carnegie mellon university spin-off company shift robotics the moonwalkers are currently the subject of a kickstarter campaign they can reportedly be attached to a wide variety of shoes utilizing their adjustable straps and quick release magnetic buckles as the wearer walks, a 300W brushless motor in each 4.2 pounds, 1.9 kilograms, Moonwalker spins up the device's eight polyurethane wheels, providing a sensation sort of like walking on a moving sidewalk in an airport. Sensors in both Moonwalkers continuously communicate with one another, utilizing machine learning based algorithms to monitor the user's gait. The faster or slower that person walks, the faster or slower the wheels will go. Number 7. Autonomy debuts a Swervy, customizable delivery robot in Autobot 2.0 as it closes $3.3 million seed round. Today Autonomy, a maker of autonomous delivery robots, unveiled its second generation robot, the Autobot 2.0, alongside its announcement of its $3.3 million seed funding round according to an announcement sent to the Spoon. The new funding, which is led by Pi Ventures, also as Kinetic Ventures, Branded Hospitality Ventures, and Sungi Kumar, founder and CEO of Adverb Technologies, joining the round. As you can see in the video below, the second-gen Autobot introduces several features, including a new swerve drive capability, which Autonomy calls Crab Mode, in which the Autobot's drivetrain can turn each wheel independently. This allows the Autobot to, to spin in place, aka zero radius turning, and swerve as it navigates, versus the more tank-style mobility of robots without a swerve drive, towards a destination. Number 6. Pyrolens. Avoid the risk of a backdraft by tackling a compartment fire from outside. Penetrate the wall in around 30 seconds, then introduce a cooling mist to extinguish the fire. The Pyrolance Transitional Fire Attack is a tool designed to prioritize the safety of firefighters while still providing them with tools, techniques, and tactics that allow them to be highly effective in their approach. This provides them with a safer work environment to achieve their objectives in an efficient manner. The principle of Pyrolance Transitional Fire Attack is to utilize gas cooling along with surface cooling, which has a profound effect in that minimal water is required due to the ultra-high pressure water mist technology. The unique feature of being able to penetrate using the lance from outside allows active control of interior fire conditions from an exterior defensive position with reduced risk to the firefighter. Can typically penetrate a concrete block or double brick wall in around 30 seconds. Number 5. Product Info Valfast Spindle Wedge The Benefits of Valfast Valfast is a logical further development of the existing spindle wedge concepts. In existing designs, there will always be a compromise between stability, functionality, and security. The new Valfast combines the best of the previously known and brings some smart features with it. Why is the Valfast so sturdy? Instead of using ball bearings, we use a plain bearing to absorb the axial force of the spindle. Ball bearing competitor products can be damaged after just a few weeks, especially if they operate the wedges at the power limit or work with impact wrenches. This problem does not await you with the valve fast. Number 4. Kaka Omni Move. The Kaka Omni Move is our transport platform for heavy loads. Move it with great ease into the right position, with ultra precision and in the tightest of spaces. The Kaka Omni Move also offers excellent mobility, easily operated by remote control. Kaka Omni Move, autonomous and extremely flexible. Simply move underneath and lift, 
the Kaka OmniMove mobile heavy-duty platform can move your XXL loads with ease. The Kaka OmniMove can be controlled manually or move autonomously. Despite its enormous size and payload capacity, it navigates safely, moving virtually independently. You can also optionally expand it with a self-contained energy supply. Number 3. Sugru The rise and fall of Sugru, the British blue tack rival that almost crowdfunded itself to death. Investors in adhesive wonder material Sugru are losing most of their money after the crowdfunded startup failed to scale. So what went wrong? Crowdfunding a startup is a risky business. Last month, Form 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 LTD, FFF, the British firm behind a moldable material called Sugru, disappointed investors after it sold out to German adhesive specialist Tisa for a knockdown price of 7.6 million pounds. That's almost 25.4 million pounds less than it told investors it was worth when they backed it on Crowdcube. That means the investors are losing 90% of their money, and needless to say, they are pretty bummed. Number 2. We use Aqua Harvester model on trailer. Aqua Harvest boat model, fiberglass slash Kevlar construction includes WeDo 170 conveyor harvesting system with detachable bag collection assembly and WeDo T1305 DOT approved highway boat trailer. Factory installed 24 volt power pack includes lithium solar battery system that runs all day without fossil fuel, includes onboard marine charger and captain helm assembly. Available in single motor or twin torpedo outdrives mounted on WeDo power trim and tilt system. Harvest and bag floating vegetation and debris. Convey from work deck to shoreline. Skim oil from water surface, conversion kit belt available. Included WeDo T1305 highway boat trailer features heavy duty I-beam construction, custom powder coating, 14-inch highway tires and wheels, LED light system, torsion axle suspension. Weight including trailer, single motor is 1,700 pounds. Twin motor is 1,800 pounds. Number 1. Glove 80. In 2012, when Apple debuted the first ear pods, Johnny Ive made a rather important observation, the ear canal is a very complex shaped part of our body. It certainly isn't circular, so the idea of circular earphones, which were the norm back then, was flawed to begin with. The ear pods explored a design that complemented the shape of the human ear in a way that was designed to have a fit that's as universally comfortable as it can get. That same shape was carried into the AirPods too, making them the most popular TWS earbuds in the world. The point is, a human-centric approach always makes a product experience better. It's the same reason why an ergonomic chair feels much more comfortable to sit in as compared to a hard wooden chair, and why typing on touchscreen still absolutely sucks in comparison to typing on a proper keyboard. The Glove 80, however, pushes the boundary by making the mechanical keyboard even more human-centric.